I think the MDiv starts with calling. Different kinds of calling for different persons. For some, it is clear. It is a call to preach, a call to be a chaplain, a call to, to teach, whatever it might be. For many, maybe for most, it is a journey of discovering. I don't even think I would have known what a chaplain was before my journey started. 25 years ago, my father died of lung cancer. And I felt in the midst of this, this incredible support and kind of something bigger than me for the first time in my life. And so I was very intrigued about this very deep, meaningful time of life for people. And the feeling of checking out chaplaincy as a vocation just kept getting bigger and bigger and didn't go away. So three years went by and I finally looked up and I said, okay, I'll, I'll check it out. About the time I was 16, I felt God calling me into vocational ministry. I felt God calling me to preach. For me, I knew MDiv was the right thing. Studying the languages, Greek and Hebrew, I was able to learn about teaching and preaching and pastoral care. I was able to get the theology that I needed so that I could be as prepared as possible to be the best pastor that I could be. The Master of Divinity is the classic degree in theological education. It is a big degree, it's 90 hours, and it's that big because ministry is that broad. A chaplain may say, I'm not going to preach, but they will. I'm not going to baptize, but they will. Certainly that's true for pastors, that's true for youth ministers, that's true for persons in any number of areas of ministry. So they need the breadth of preparation that a Master of Divinity can give. You never know what doors that your Masters of Divinity is going to bring you with chaplaincy. There's a lot of variety. I'm now officiating weddings, and that started here in the hospital, doing counseling with them, getting to know them. Never would have thought I would have done that, but my whole thing is connecting with people. And having gone to two different divinity schools, the thing that was really nice about going to Campbell, I'm so glad I decided to do that, was it just had a very spiritual formation feeling, like a family feeling. The Campbell Divinity family is truly that. It's an amazing connection that we have because we're all working together to build our relationship with God. Now that I'm back at Anger, I'm so excited because I get to see my professors, I get to see my former classmates, and get to continue to pour into lives of seminary students as they are learning what God is calling them to do. That sense of family, I think it's so powerful because that is not something that we attempted to paste onto the school. It flows out of the mission statement, it flows out of the nature of who we are. It's a matter of celebrating a journey together. And, and that has been the spirit from the very beginning of this school.